So I'm here with Andre Sosa. He's a member of the Cowlitz Black Bears and also a uh, commit to play for Dallas Baptist. And so one of the first questions I have for you is, um, you know, playing college ball, how's it been um, for you as an experience and what things have you kind of learned and developed over the last uh, last couple years? Um, throughout my college baseball career, I've, I've learned how the, uh, the, how the mental side works. Um, just dealing with how to deal with failure and uh, just trying to be myself and play baseball. It's just a game. And then, you know, one of the things I've noticed out here, you know, while you're with the Black Bears, is you've really been kind of a uh, kind of a, a go-getter, kind of a inter- high-energy guy. Is that something you kind of uh, enjoy being, or is that just something that comes natural? It definitely just comes naturally. Uh, the love of the game I have is uh, very high, and the passion is uh, something I take, you know, very to heart. You know? Mm-hmm. It's, uh, baseball is my life, and playing it hard is just something that's that just comes to me. You know, it's it's the only one way to play the game. Absolutely. And then, you know, kind of looking at, you know, being committed to, to Dallas Baptist, um, what led you to um, to commit there? And also kind of, you know, what's it like having a few guys here who actually play for, for DBU? What is that experience like? Uh, playing around those guys is definitely uh, beneficial to me. You know, I'm going to be playing them in the spring and the fall. And uh, the reason I committed to Dallas Baptist is just uh, the great program they have and uh, the coaching staff. And I'm just very excited to be a part of that family. Awesome. Yeah, I know that Blackbirds have had a few guys come up here that have been pretty talented and uh, shown some success. And, you know, one of the things that in order to be successful, it takes people behind you, motivating you and pushing you. Who in your life has been that motivator and been that inspiration? Uh, both my parents. Uh, since the start, they've set up base in our family. Uh, and just them, their commitment, their hard work towards me and uh, me and my sister just really inspired me to you know, every day to wake up with a, a goal in mind and, and get it done. And then, you know, for baseball, baseball is a lot of routine. Some people would even say superstition. Is there any kind of set routine you have each day for a game or superstitions even? Uh, not really, just going through my routine. Uh, something I've, I've worked hard for and just something that you have to go through the process of failure and seeing what works and what doesn't. Uh, just my routine, doing it every single day. You know, and then here with the Black Bears, you know, you're here for the summer, you have a chance to work on certain things. Is there something specific you're trying to work on, something specific you're trying to develop in your game? Overall, everything. Um, I feel like you could always be better and learn from uh, different perspectives of the game, especially coming here to the Northwest. Uh, you know, Grady has a lot to teach, and, uh, you know, my, my ears and mind are open, so uh, that's what I'm here for, to learn and play baseball. That's awesome. And then last question I have for you. You know, we see a lot of kids out playing, watching college games, wood bat leagues, all that stuff. What advice do you have for the kids who are looking at the future and saying, you know, I'd like to play at that level? Just keep working hard and um, keep your head low and love the game and play with a passion and a chip on your shoulder to, you know, prove everybody that you're, you're worth being, you know, you're worth playing and uh, always play hard. Awesome. Well, thank you very much.